The UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in North Korea wrapped up his fifth visit to Seoul. At a press conference today, Thomas Oya Quintana stressed that peace should ultimately be to improve people's livelihoods and called on the international community to continue its humanitarian assistance while discussing sanctions to minimize impact on the people. Wu Zhenghe shares with us his remarks. Nuclear negotiations with North Korea got off to a good start in 2018. Now it's time to put human rights on the table. That's according to the United Nations Special Rapporteur on North Korea's human rights, Thomas Ohea Quintana, who was speaking Friday as he wrapped up his fifth mission to Seoul. Quintana pointed out that despite positive developments on the Korean Peninsula for the past 12 months, the human rights situation in the North hasn't changed and is still serious. He stressed that any peace agreement will be fragile unless human rights issues are resolved. When the parties discuss about peace, we are talking about peace for the benefit of who? We are talking about peace for the benefit of some other states, um, except North Korea, except the people living in North Korea. So the aspirations for peace need to include the population from, from North Korea, especially those living in the countryside, will bring real benefit to the people from North Korea. Quintana says the people in North Korea are in constant fear of being sent to political prison camps and exploited through forced labor. They face strict surveillance by the government and discrimination based on social status. The expert has made requests to visit the country for the past three years, but was never allowed and had no opportunity to communicate with the locals. He called on Pyongyang to open up to a human rights dialogue. At the same time, the special rapporteur called for continued humanitarian assistance to North Korea and discussions within the UN Security Council on their sanctions. I also wish to repeat the call I have made to the Security Council of the United Nations to supervise the implementation of its sanctions with a view to ensuring that they do not have a detrimental impact on the people of the DPR Korea. Sanctions regime should also facilitate commendable humanitarian initiatives such as, such as family reunions that have significant implications for human rights. To the North, Quintana stressed that development and human rights go hand in hand. And to the parties involved in the denuclearization talks, he echoed President Moon Jae-in's remarks. Human rights are guaranteed through peace, and peace is secured through human rights. Wu Zhengyi, Arirang News.